Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a special game. It's an old game. A long time ago, far away, a legendary interdimensional being, known as Zordon, came to the city of Angel Grove to establish a vanguard in a never-ending struggle against evil. With the aid of his trusted assistant, Alpha 5, the Noble Master sought out six extraordinary teenagers and gave them powers to transform into a superhuman fighting force. With them great need, the young heroes they call upon colossal swords. But you all know what I'm talking about now, right? It's Power Ranger time, baby! So let's morph and. Well, see what the game brings us. It's the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the game. It's like one of the longest titles ever. Six thousand years ago, a morphological being known as Ivan Ooze ruled the world with the reign of unparalleled terror. The entire planet after a adult population then brainwashed the young to follow his evil path. A faction of young warriors known as the Order of Melidian lured him into a hyperlock chamber and buried him deep underground. Present day Angel Grove. An inner city construction crew accidentally uncovers the hyperlock chamber and releases the evil power of Ivan Ooze. Dun, dun, dun. So it's Morphin Time! In stage one of this very simple game, but still, it's kind of fun. You can see, it's rocky. You know, I like the original Power Rangers best. Also, St. John is like the ultimate Red Ranger, so I'll just pick Tommy. Who was the Green Ranger? Turn to the White Ranger. Which, well, was a great costume though. I haven't played this game since, well, its release in 1995. I got it in 96, I believe. No, I couldn't get my Sega Mega Drive or Genesis as it's called in America. Hooked up to my recording software, so I downloaded the ROM of the game, which technically isn't illegal because I own the game. And so I get to play this with you. For you, with you. You know, it's kind of fun playing the game. And as I remember it, it's not a very long game. But it's extremely short, so... I might get to do this in one or two videos. Probably two videos, I won't be too long videos. Okay, enough with the ooze guys. Look for a new enemy, come on! I'm Power Ranger! Do better than this. Where are the big monsters at? Nah, no, goddammit. It's like a horrible budget version of Streets of Rage. Ah, but the Power Ranger brings back great memories. We had like the action, well, hour, it was a lot longer than an hour, like two and a half hours of just action series and cartoons. And Power Rangers was one of them. But this one is based on a movie, so it's a little different though. It's with the same actors as the, well, second team of Power Rangers. Last team of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers because after that we all turn into I guess Zio and RPM and Time Force, Wild Force and whatever. It, it changed a lot. But then again the show's been going for 20 years so change is not always a bad thing. And all of the original Rangers had some you know guest appearances in the new series so that's pretty cool. For nostalgic factor. 
stupid Ivan Ooze just beat me up, but that's gay. We'll get him soon. Once released from the chamber, Ivan wasted no time. And attacks the command center, damaging Zordon and Alpha 5. With Zordon overthrown, the Power Rangers lose the powers. Alpha tells them of power that will help. Save Zordon. With hesitation, Alpha sends the Power Rangers to the planet Pedos to find the Master Warrior who will help them gain the power they need. Meanwhile, Ivan is gaining mind control of the adults of Angel Grove. Out Lord Zed and Rita. After landing on Thedos, the Power Rangers run into Domitia, the mass warrior who saves them from the Tenju tribe. She guides them to the Nilia jungle where they will find the power they were looking for. She warns them of the danger and sends them on their way. Jesus, these textures move fast. I hope I got it all. Before they go, Dulcia gives the rangers the animal powers of the ninjetti to help them survive. Continue on through the jungle in the new ninja uniforms, the power rangers encounter many difficult enemies including the skeleton creatures and the stone gargoyles. In the meantime, Ivan has used the adults of Angel Grove to help dig up two of his morphological monsters. The Scorpion Patron and the Horde Ninitron? What? Back of Phaedos, after defeating the stone gargoyles, the rangers find the temple of great power. Upon entering, they discover how to gain the great power from the temple. With the last of his power, Zordon contacts the rangers and tells them about Ivan. With new power, the rangers blast back to Earth. They land in Angel Grove as Ivan's ectomorphic minerals are destroying the city. What the cons? Like Decepticons, only they morph. Power's on! Yeah, baby! Woo! You know, what I did like about the movie is that they had armor instead of those pantyhose outfits. It was a lot better. I wish they would have worn those in the series, but then again, it would be a budget thing or something. Plus, they used Japanese footage in the series to... Well, I guess, cheapen out the American version. Did you just say Tiger Sword? Because you should, say, you should say Falcon Sword, right? Maybe just me. Okay, Tommy, let's go. I love that about 16 bit games, you know? I want to fight enemies off the screen. Just points at the corner and Keep on hitting. Just punch and kick away, and they're programmed to walk at you, so do time. What? She's biting me? Fake vampire. Time element of this game actually is. Well, the time keeps resetting, so I guess per section you have a time limit. Probably because it's based on an arcade game, you know, and when time's up, you have to insert a new coin to continue. Or something. Aw, oh, we need a hero. Blink in the background. Have no fear, Angel Grove. I am here. Now I should do some more retro gaming because it's still fun. A lot of 
ancient games, I guess, these days. From the NES till the Sega Saturn, I have it all. It's pretty fun to play this old game. When I was young, it was like, oh my god, this game is so difficult, and I don't know if I can ever beat it, and blah blah blah. When you play it now, some of these games you just like snap and you're done with them. Although some games still remain difficult to hell. Or sometimes your memory just fails and you can't remember what to do next. These left to right games aren't that difficult, but some games have a puzzle element like Solstice or something. I don't know how the hell did I beat this game when I was young? But you know, it's like brain training. I mean, never forget where all the secret warp zones are and all the, the hidden zones and whatever in games. You need to remember it. Because when you have children of your own, tell them how to finish these old games. God's reasons. Oh! Throw them at each other and make it a lot easier. Dude, the guy packs a punch. Oh, two cars once. Be dead free. Tommy is now an MMA fighter. Man, how your childhood heroes grow up, huh? I don't know a lot about all of the ranges or what happened to them, but I know Austin Sinjin is now a paramedic. And he wrote this great book about, you know, martial arts, so buy it, help the dude out. He's a pretty nice guy. He's like the only famous person ever who had me on Twitter, so kudos for him and he likes posts and everything, you know? It takes time for his fans and that's pretty awesome. Oh, and Austin St. John had, had an auction not that long ago. No, he sold like Power Rangers memorabilia in order to finance a new movie program, so. Program project, you should call it. That's pretty nice. I mean, how cool would it be if you actually had the original Red Ranger helmet or something? That's epic. Dude, I'm done with these purple idiots. Come on. Really, he ran by me as if I was even here. Oop, new 60 second marker. And more purple crap. You know, I like those putty guys a lot better than these guys. They just go on screen like. <laughs> Dumb as shit. You know, they always fought them without morphing. You know, as teenagers. And then the bad guy came. And then it was morphin' time. Put on the suit. Instead of calling the Zords immediately, they first beat him as a little monster. And then he grew with his powers or whatever. And then the Zords came. That's what was cool. Did all those air acrobatic movements to call the Zords. That was sweet. More high speed dialogue. The dialogue's faster than the game. I'm thinking the second one is that Scorpion Mugging Mugging Mutant thing. Okay, the Ninja Megazord or. Falcon Sword. Hell yeah, it's the Ninja Megazord. 
I'll try to pick the other one in our next battle, if I can. But this is way cooler. Whoa! I hope you guys aren't epileptic because that light flash is not good for you. Horny drawn. Horny? Ugh, my name in high school, eh? Horny drawn. But anyway. Any much of a problem? But his buddy is also coming, so. I do love how they 3D this uh, setting. I mean, you have the bridge in front of us, we're fighting behind it, and behind us are the buildings. It's like the first 3D ever. Ahem, <coughs> cough, cough. Oh, I did this little thrilly ninja kick. Dude, how can I hit you? You're so low. I mean, do you guys think Pacific Rim stole the entire idea of Power Rangers? I mean, there are also like multiple people handling one sword, so. I'm thinking it's ripped. But then again, Power Rangers ripped off from. Well, other show, so. Yeah. You had that. Necros 1 series? These three pilots had to enter this giant robot and then control as well. Because you have Ultron. Oh, wait, it's not even Ultron. Damn, what's this show? Ah, uh, it's not a show with a giant robot. Ah, you guys know. Scorpitron, Scorpitron, well it's gone. Yes, it does not Power Ranger. Wow, two stages cleared in like 10 minutes. Boy, when I joined, I didn't think things would get this rough. Rocky spoke. No kidding! And she replied. And replied, never when we joined? Rita's moon base, Lord Zed suddenly appears and seals Rita away for a couple of eons. Blah blah blah, plans for the Earth. Ones that Rita could not handle. The Green Ranger had been losing its morphing powers and Zed, you putties are giving the Rangers up. Very tough time. Even the Megazord and the Dragonzord have been defeated. Aww. It seems like the time of darkness is about to come. As Tommy's Green Ranger's power faded, Zordon transformed into a stronger White Ranger. Yeah, you need smiling. It's pretty sweet. We're like flashback. Hey, look! It are the original Rangers. But of course, I'm choosing Austin Sanjin because he's the original Red Ranger. Dinosaurus! It's more for time! Man, I guess the dude has to say that a lot. I mean, every time he meets a fan, he has to go, Ooh, it's more for time! Ah, it's life of a celebrity, eh? Oh, we get the beat up putties. Second generation putty patrol, but still. Putties! <laughs> It captured the movement in this game, you know. Them just standing around, looking around. Oh, where did you get Nah, that's true. What the fuck is this? And Sentinel's net. Oh, right! This dude is like three persons in one or something. One is like ears, and the other's hair, and the other's like neck, apparently. Oh, nice. 
nice. Good combo. Jason, to feel me now. I don't know why they added those barrels because it's kind of silly. There's nothing in this game that you can grab. Those things? Yeah. We'll use them. Because we can. Man, I'm so hopped up on caffeine, I can play this game all night. It's only like 4 a.m. or something now. Why sleep when you can play old games? Oh! Like Ninja Arrow here. Ta -da. This dude indeed has giant ears and walks like a girl, or perhaps it is girl, mutant girl. I don't know. Whoa. I think these parties will keep on going until I beat this. Oh, never mind. He's ready to go. All these party guys aren't that hot. Whoa! All three of them. Doing so great health wise, but keep on going. See, if I was a Power Ranger now, I would definitely call my Tyrannosaurus sword and just step on these guys. You know, Tyrannosaurus and squish and bend. Then again, you wouldn't have much of a series. Another stage is cleared, I guess. Oh, I will finish those pesky power range off. Grow, grow, grow. Thunder Megazord. Ah, cool. It's the old Zord. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to choose this one. And I know the Tiger Sword is also pretty cool, but... Come on! This is like a fusion sword. It's, it's, it's cool. Gets to transform and everything. Awesome. Okay, so these guys are tough, but we're Power Rangers. We always win. By the great power of Saban, we will be victorious! Oh, well, after this 
bad, but we're about like 25 minutes in, so we will keep on go, 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 going on in our next video. Now I'm not stuttering, I'm doing an homage to Power Rangers, you know, go, go, Power Rangers, we'll keep on go, go, going on. No? Ah, well. And if Power Rangers fans wouldn't be watching this, so. Till next video, guys. Latest.